Kevin Barry's Irish Pub and Restaurant, located on historic River Street in downtown Savannah, is a vital part of the city's character. When Vic Power arrived in Savannah, Georgia, he noticed that the city had a strong Irish identity, and Kevin Barry's Pub opened for business on October 31st, 1980. The pub has evolved through the years and is widely recognized as one of the top Irish bars in America. With Vic's guiding hand, the restaurant offers a wide variety of traditional Irish food. On the second floor, Kevin Barry's offers an enclosed balcony with spectacular views of historic River Street, the Savannah River and the Talmadge Bridge. There are two dining rooms on this floor. The smaller is called Liberty Hall and has an exhibition depicting the struggle for freedom in Ireland. The larger room is called the American Hall of Heroes and all of the art, memorabilia and artefacts are a tribute to and were presented by members of the United States Armed Services. The fallen in 9-11 are also acknowledged and there is a moving tribute to some of the young men and women who graced Kevin Barry's with their presence before going abroad to serve and ultimately make the supreme sacrifice for their country. The American Hall of Heroes is famous in military circles worldwide. Tourists and locals alike frequent Kevin Barry's Irish Pub. It's a great place to meet friends, have a cold pint of Guinness, enjoy some hearty food and listen to traditional Irish music in story and song. As we say, there are no strangers here, only friends who haven't met. Today would be the perfect day uh, to share a shepherd's pie recipe with y'all. And I'm going to try to duplicate what they do at Kevin Barry's. Uh, we serve shepherd's pie a lot at the Lady and Sons. You know, and everybody has a, a maybe a little bit different way they do it. So I'm starting by chopping some carrots and I'm gonna dice these, and I'm gonna cook them in my uh, ground beef. I'm actually using two kinds of meat because Kevin Barry's, you know, it's a very Irish pub, uh, so we can't make uh, shepherd's pie without having some lamb in it. So I've got lamb and ground beef, and we're just gonna rough dice these carrots, and I'm gonna dice some onions and some fresh garlic. And while a lot of us maybe layer our shepherd's pie with different layers, uh, at Kevin Berry's, they make it kind of like, almost like a pot pie. All right, so that's a good enough cut for that. Now I'm gonna um, put about a tablespoon of oil in my pan. And I'm gonna put these carrots in there because they'll probably take the longest to cook. So I'm gonna start those over a medium heat. Okay, so next I'm gonna dice my onion. You know, shepherd's pie is one of those recipes where if you got leftover mashed potatoes, if you got leftover English peas from the night before or carrots, uh, it's a great fast recipe, uh, especially when you have those kind of leftovers. If you've got leftover pot roast, uh, that's usually what we make ours with at the Lady and Sons. And I can tell you right now, that pot roast makes the best shepherd's pie. People just love it that come into the restaurant. You can do anything you want to do with a shepherd's pie. All right, now after those get going, I'm gonna uh, throw my meat in. And I've already got my potatoes cooked back here, y'all. Uh, they're ready for me to cream. All right, let's see. I'm gonna do my garlic up. Uh, and I found a great product. Actually, my cousin Don was here, and he went to the grocery store for me, and he uh, 
came back in with some smoked garlic, but I've been putting it in soups and stews and gumbos, and it works so well. All right, now I've got some peas and corn here that I'm gonna be mixing in. I've got an egg for my, um, for my cream potatoes, or whatever you call them. Mashed potatoes, cream potatoes, they're all the same to me. And like I said, I've got my lamb and my ground beef here. So, we're just gonna cook this off. All right, these are cooking good. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw my meat in and let that brown. It's smelling good. And I'm using, as you can see, I'm using ground lamb and ground beef. And if you wanted to go to more trouble, you could, you could uh, actually use a chunk, you know, solid meat of lamb. But then it wouldn't be very fast. You know, it would be more of a process. But we're gonna get the lamb flavor by using the ground lamb in it. Okay, so uh, while y'all take a quick break, I'm gonna finish browning this and I'll meet y'all right back in the kitchen to finish up our shepherd's pie. St. Patty's Day here in Savannah. We have the second largest celebration of St. Patty's Day, y'all, in the U.S. We're second only behind New York City, but it's something else. If y'all have never uh, spent a St. Patrick's Day in Savannah, you need to try it, because it's, it's like crazy. So we're back in the kitchen, and uh, I'm getting ready to finish this shepherd's pie up. And I've got my veggies and my meat cooked off. Now I'm just gonna toss it with a little flour and that's gonna kinda tighten that for us. And then I'm gonna add the other ingredients and we're gonna have it ready. Like I said, this is a delicious quick dish and I want y'all to know I was stirring that stuff to brown it and I got grease all over me. Uh, I really am a slob in the kitchen. I can't, uh, I can't wear too good of clothes here in the kitchen because I make a mess. And I'm most of the time I'll forget to put on my apron. All right, now I'm gonna add like a heaping tablespoon of tomato paste. And mix that up good in there. For some herbs, we're gonna put just a little rosemary in here. Just a little. Rosemary is one of those herbs that's you know, a little will go a long way on you. And then I'm gonna put some fresh thyme in there. You know, when you're using fresh, you're gonna need a little bit more than you would if you were using dried. Because the fresh just isn't quite as strong. So I'm just gonna mince that up. And, you know, maybe two teaspoons of fresh and let those herbs cook in there. I'll finish getting this up. I love the taste of thyme and uh, thyme makes any dish just a little bit better. So I'm gonna add a cup of chicken broth or you could add beef broth if that's all you had. That that's no problem. Okay, and we're gonna put a little Worcestershire in it. All right, so now I'm gonna add my corn and my peas. And it's done, y'all. I mean, it's just that simple. 
And it kind of looks like a pot pie, doesn't it? I do love recipes that you can play around with and you don't have to go right by the book. Like, if say, if you were making a cake or a pie, you know, that's a formula. You got to go right by it. But this you can just have fun with. So I've got our casserole dish. I'm gonna be baking this in. So all I have to do now is drain our potatoes and uh, I'm gonna use my electric, my hand mixer on that and beat those until they're nice and fluffy and I'm just gonna add milk, eggs, and butter, salt, and pepper to that and put that on top of this delicious uh, mixture of lamb and ground beef. All right, so I'm gonna cut that down and our potatoes are ready. So I'm gonna let these potatoes drain for a minute and then when we come back, we're gonna put it all together. And you're gonna see why Kevin Berry's is su such a popular, popular place here in Savannah, down on River Street. <laughs> okay, y'all, it's time for us to put our potatoes together. Uh, you can see how unbelievably simple this dish is. Now, you know, the only thing that I didn't add in this pot was salt and pepper. So I want to do that real quick, like. And so now it's ready. All right. So for our mashed potatoes, I'm going to salt these. Now, I just used a red potato and I peeled it. Lots of times I won't peel them because, you know, the nutrients are in the skin, but uh, since this is gonna be, uh-oh, they tell me it you need electricity if you're using something with a cord on it. <laughs> so <laughs> let me stick that in. There we go. <laughs> that works so much better. <laughs> so I'm gonna um, put an egg, an egg yolk into the mashed potatoes and that'll make it just a little creamier and fluffier and lighter. I should have turned these potatoes back on. The butter won't melt. You know what, Paul? Let's just go with it. That is so much <laughs> You know, some days, some days just things don't go perfect. You know what I mean? And to bring y'all this show, which I wanted to do it so badly, we have a crew of like four. Five counting me. Um, somebody turned off my potatoes and they got cold and we don't do backups here. What, what you see me cooking is what you get. So I'm trying to stand up here and beat cold mashed potatoes and get butter to melt in them. <laughs> so I did the best I could. It looks like glue. <laughs> so the way I'm gonna fix these mashed potatoes, y'all, is by heating up our <laughs> half and half. <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't have anybody in the back making a uh, a dish over for me or having having a dish made. What you see out here in my kitchen is exactly what it is. So, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> At least it's melting the butter. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> now, you know, I'm, I'm not worried y'all at all because it's not gonna affect the flavor one bit. <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> Okie doke. So in goes our beautiful meats. Oh gosh, and that smells good. And then we're gonna pour our mashed potatoes on top of that. And we're just gonna bake this in the oven until it's brown. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
They just told me if I needed more, I got some on my shirt. <laughs> I feel like I've got it everywhere on me. All right, now the thing that would just finish this off great is if y'all would get a nice butt shot of me. <laughs> That'll finish this recipe off perfectly. <laughs> okay. There we go. We're gonna bake that off about 20 minutes. Maybe 25. Or maybe an hour and a half. Or two hours. <laughs> We'll see what we've got when we come back. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I've got this dish. I put it under the broiler because the potatoes didn't want to brown. I'm a mess. Just look at me. I'm a big mess. Uh, I just hope that this shepherd's pie is not as big a mess as I am. <laughs> All right, so there we go. So, uh, <laughs> so let's dig in here, y'all. <laughs> Eddie. <laughs> Eddie. <laughs> y'all, Eddie is my assistant. God love him. <laughs> He's a good sport. You want to taste this stuff with me? I do. I've either come to, to <laughs> taste food or, or clean you out. <laughs> I'm, I'm one of the two. <laughs> oh, we can eat off the same plate. I don't think okay. we're going to want servings that big. <laughs> All right. One for you and one for me. Here's the tip. It smells wonderful. Don't ever boil your potatoes. Turn them off, let them get cold sitting in water. That's that's my number one tip for the day. <laughs> Cause I think that's what happened to these potatoes. Dig in, baby. Okay, I think I'm gonna go more towards the corn. <laughs> Tastes wonderful though. It's delicious. Very good. You yep. can taste the lamb. This is more the type of food that I was brought up on. Really? So. <laughs> Y'all ate a lot of shepherd's pie. Not a lot of shepherd's pie, but But this actually, kinda. Yeah, this is this probably the food. closest to a casserole that I was brought up on. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, the only thing that went wrong was the potatoes. You know, sitting in that water and the starch coming out of them and not heating them back up, you know, to whip them up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So not bad, John. You want to dip us some more? Yes. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to get my own plate. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm going to get my own plate. <laughs> well, you know, it can't be too bad then, can it? You know, my only goof up was was the potatoes, letting them get cold and then trying to beat them cold. Uh, but the recipe is actually very good. Yep. I can see why Kevin Berry would sell a lot of it. Oh, I think it has a great flavor. Mm -hmm. Great flavor. And I'm not opposed to all the things mixed together. But I still want to go down and taste theirs. Oh, they have some wonderful, wonderful they do. food there, too. They do? Mm-hmm. And great singing. <laughs> oh, I know. I love, I love Harry. Hopefully, maybe he'll be down there when we choose to go down and taste it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so y'all come with me, okay? I promise we'll have a good time there. Then a boring green came a sweet Colleen And she smiled as she passed me by She looked so sweet from her two bare feet To the sheen of her nut brown hair Such a coaxing handful I shook myself for the sea Was she really there? From Pantry Bay up the Derry Cay And from Galway to Dublin town No maid I've seen like the sweet Colleen That I met in the county down
made in Georgia.